welcome back to another video on the channel and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to make a firework display on scratch. A firework display is a project where the user clicks anywhere on the stage to make a rocket shoot up to that point and explode into a colorful firework. We'll be learning the following concepts on scratch, cloning, broadcast, pen extension, pick random, operator, and variables. Let's begin with a demo. When the flag is clicked, you're going to get a screen like this. Then you have to click anywhere on the stage, and a rocket shoots up to that point and explodes into a colorful firework. You'll notice that when the rocket explodes, you'll see dots that are being cloned. And each dot draws a line, which is also the reason why this falls under the pen extension. Let's begin by going to scratch.mit.edu and creating a new project. Rename that project to Firework Display on Scratch. Next, delete the cat sprite. But before that, don't forget to go to Add an Extension and click on Pen. That will add the pen extension to your project. You'll find the pen extension button in the bottom left hand corner. Choose the sprite, hover on it, and then click on Paint. Next, we're going to paint our rocket sprite. I'm going to rename the sprite to rocket because this is our rocket sprite. Since I've already drawn my rocket sprite, I'm just going to drag it from the backpack tool. I used all the tools over here and drew this mini rocket. So first I zoomed in and then I created the rocket. So I used the line tool to create a rectangle. Then I selected it and I clicked on fill and I filled in the color. If you want, you could also click on the rectangle tool and then click on the reshape tool and reshape that particular square. But it's easier to use the line tool and create the rectangle. Don't forget to add the outline as one for everything that you draw. So after you're done making the triangle, then use the rectangle tool and draw a thin rectangle, and then draw an even thinner rectangle. So since I've already drawn mine, and also rename the costume to Rocket. So now we're going to draw another sprite, and this time we're going to zoom in seven times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'm going to click on the paintbrush tool and I'm going to set the color to lime and I'm going to draw a dot. So I'm going to set the outline to 10. So basically, as you can see, I've set it to 10. And now I'm going to align that dot to the center. I'm going to rename this dot to stars. Yeah, that's better. And now I'm going to choose my backdrop. So in the backdrops, you'll already have a plain old backdrop. You're going to rename this to Flash. Do not delete it. Next, we're going to click on Paint a new sprite. Actually, don't paint the sprite. You could just go to my Share Project link and then backpack the same backdrop. So the backdrop that we're going to use is the Night backdrop. You'll find the same, sort of same backdrop on the sprite library. So if you simply type Night we'll see the same backdrop, except the buildings are like positioned a bit lower and there's a lot more space of the sky visible on it. So now we're going to code the rocket. So first we're going to drag a when flag clicked. And then after, when the flag is clicked, you first want to erase everything, right? So we're going to go to pen extension and drag erase all. Then we're going to drag the hide. And after the hide, we're going to drag a firebird loop. So what this is going to do is when the flag is clicked, it's going to erase everything on the screen. And then it's going to hide the rocket. Next, what we want to do is we want to drag a forever loop and then we want to drag a wait until a win value. So we want to wait until the mouse is down, which means we want to wait until the user clicks on the stage. So we're going to drag wait until mouse down. So this is a Boolean value because this only has you can either say the answer yes or no. So it means the answer could either be true or false. So wait until mouse down. Next, we're going to drag a go to X and Y. So we want to go to mouse X, which means the X position of the mouse. So we're going to go to sensing and drag 
mouse x as x, and y we want to be negative 180. Next, we're going to drag a show. So we want to show the rocket. And then we want to glide one second. So we want to glide one second to the mouse x and y. So basically the position of the mouse. So we're going to drag a glide one second to x and y. And we're going to change x to mouse x and y to mouse y. Next, we want to hide again because now we want the stars to come up. And then we want to broadcast a new message called bang. Bang. And now we again want to drag a when I receive bang, so the broadcasted message. So when I receive bang, what do I have to do? So first what we want to do is we want to drag a switch backdrop to night and change night to flash. Then we want to drag a wait one second and change this to point one. And then we want to drag a switch backdrop to night. So what this is going to do is when I receive bang, so before bang, there's actually a white pause. That means there's a short interval of time. So I'm going to put it as 0 0.1 seconds and then only will we switch the backdrop to night. So this is just used to create an effect of like there's a real firework that's going to happen. Now we're going to go to stars and code stars. So when flag clicked, so we're going to create another variable called speed. Now wait here. So when we name our variable, we want to make sure that this is only for this sprite only. So there's a difference. So for all sprites, it's going to make the variable, avail variable available for all sprites. But if you click on for this sprite only, the variable will only be available for this sprite. For example, right now, this variable is only available for stars. Now, if I go to rocket, you won't see the variable speed. So make sure that happens. Otherwise, it will not work. So now we want to set, you want to set show variable speed. And then we want to hide. And then we want to drag a repeat 300 create clone of myself. So what this is going to do is it's going to show the variable speed and then it's going to hide and repeat 300 times. We want to clone, create clone of myself. Next, when I receive bang, so the rocket broadcasted a message, bang, and now when the stars receive bang, so we have to leave a lot of space for this. So when I receive bang, we want to set speed to pick random so basically what this will do is it will set the speed to any random number from 0 0.1 to 3. now we want to set the ghost effect to zero and it's going to change the color effect by 25. now we want to drag a pen up so it's just going to you know put the pen up, which means it will not draw anything. But when it goes to the rocket, we want to put pen down. So go to rocket and then pen down. So after that, we want to drag a point in direction. And then again, we want to drag a pick random. So it's going to point in direction any random number from negative 180 to positive 180. Next, we're going to drag show, and then we want to drag reset timer. So the reason we want to reset the timer is because we want to change the Y by zero minus the timer. So now we want to drag repeat 50 times. So repeat 50 times, we want to drag move speed steps. So at the beginning, we, we wanted to show wearable speed, and when I receive bang, we wanted to set the speed value to any random number from 0 0.1 to 3. Now we want to move 10 steps, and we're going to replace 10 with the variable speed. So what this will do is it's going to move the random number from 0 0.1 to 3. So move speed steps, and then change y by 10. So we're going to put it as, we're going to drag the operation minus so zero minus timer 
So what this is going to do is it's going to move speed steps and then change y by 0 minus timer. Next, we want to duplicate that. So click on duplicate, that right below. And we're just going to keep this aside. Don't delete it. And then we want to reassign the variable speed. So set speed to speed into 0 0.9. So speed into 0 0.9. And now we'll put this, we'll insert the blocks of code, move speed steps, change y by 0 minus timer. So what we're doing over here is we're reassigning the variable set speed to speed into 0 0.9. So whatever random number which is chosen, so pick random from 0 0.1 to 3, whatever random no number that is chosen, we're going to multiply that into 0 0.9. And then we want to move speed steps, which is not going to move the same number as we did in the first repeat 50 times loop, but the second repeat 50 times loop, which means it's going to pick, it's just going to move the number of steps from speed multiplied by 0 0.9. So it's going to just multiply both of these, it's going to multiply the speed into 0 0.9, and then it's going to move speed steps. And then change y by 0, 0 minus timer, and then we're going to drag a change so we want to change ghost effect so you'll find ghost effect okay so change ghost effect from pick random number one to three and now we want to hide we also want to put an erase all okay good now we're going to drag a when I receive bank set color effect to pick random number negative 100 to positive 100. So it's going to pick a random, so it's going to set color effect to pick random numbers negative 100 to positive 100. So let's check it out. So when flat clicked, it's going to raise all and hide the rocket. So let's tap anywhere and the rocket glides to that position and a firework is formed and then everything is erased. And now we can again tap, boom. Also right click on the variable speed. First stop the project and then exit full screen and then right click on the variable speed and click on slider. Now you can just adjust the speed, but prefer not to. Now let's tap anywhere, and as you can see, our speed is changing. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave us a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, scratch on.